do dogs have emotions? Of course they have emotions. And probably because animals don't have a lot of language and they don't have abstract thought, I think that they experience emotions much more intensely than we humans do. Explain that. What do you mean? Well, when we experience emotions, whether it's good or bad, then you know we have kind of all this rational thought that kicks in and tries to explain why we're feeling a certain way. But if you don't have that, and you know we don't think that dogs have a whole lot of abstract thought, they're experiencing emotions, I would say, in even a purer way than we do. So love, hate, fear, joy, it's pure in dogs. Yeah, I think those are the basic emotions. I mean, there's kind of more complicated things like guilt, and, and those, are, those are human emotions. But the basics, like joy, I would call a dog human bond love. Why not? You know, um, fear, pain, of course they experience those. Hmm. When you look at your dog now, do you look at your dog in a different way? Since starting this project, I not only look at dogs a different way, my dogs, I've begun to look at animals a different way. How so? If they have emotions like we do, um, to me that kind of creates an obligation to treat them better. Hmm. You wrote an article and the title was, Dogs Are People Too. Were you serious? When you start looking at these brains and you see that they react the same way in many ways that humans do, it caused me to question how we treat dogs and animals in general, specifically as property. And currently, under, under pretty much all codes of law, something is either property or it's a human being, a person. And there's not really any other kind of category. And so it made me question, where do dogs belong? Are they property or are they closer to people? And I see them closer to people.